with this console and this game, and this is actually half Man's game of Scarpy, but still waiting for it. Um, to my shame, I thought, you know, why not break out these two games, Project Gotham Racing and Project Gotham Racing 2. And of course, I have a 3 and 4 on the Xbox 360, so this is actually the entire Metropolis Street Racer um, collection. In this uh, upcoming video, I will be playing parts of, showing you parts of Project Gotham Racing and Project Gotham Racing 2. Could turn out to be a two-part video, but you know, these games, this game was actually what made me get the uh, Xbox, the original Xbox. Um, and it's actually done for, for me what Metropolis Street, uh, Metropolis Street Racer did for the Dreamcast. I mean, it made me actually go out and get the Dreamcast, Metropolis Street Racer. This game, these games blew me away. And actually, getting a 360 again, these two games, or actually this game, played a huge part in it. So, let's check it out. Right, Project Gotham Racing. Um, I do the quick, uh, the quick racing, uh, and I customize my license plate. Um, yeah, when I got this for the uh, Xbox, it actually made me get an Xbox. I was totally amazed. So here we start, San Francisco, Mini Cooper, Red, my favorite uh, starter car. And look at that, I mean, it's just amazing. This is in-game, oh no, this is just uh, footage, but it, it's, it's very close to the in-game graphics. So San Francisco, remarkably flat, this uh, San Francisco in uh, Project Gotham Racing. I remember being totally blown away by the uh, environmental mapping of the cars. Uh, it's not real time, but it it, it does does look the part. I mean, you can actually see the reflection um, of the of the yellow street signs and stuff. These uh, little mini cars handle quite well, and uh, yeah, like in the original Metropolis Street Racer, you uh, gain kudos by doing all sorts of uh, crazy stuff that you would normally not do driving your own car down San Francisco downtown uh, sliding um, yeah uh, you shouldn't bump into uh, into the sides into the uh, metal uh, sides because that will cost you points and and car damage um, if you later watch the replay you can actually see uh, the paint being uh, being ripped off the car, having been ripped off the car. But look at this, I mean, it's just, this is only two years after the release of Metropolis Street Racer, and for, in some ways it is very reminiscent of the original Metropolis Street Racer, but uh, the physics are much more realistic in an arcadey way, I don't know how to put it, but uh, yeah, the, the physics are, are more, uh, more realistic. And of course the visual, visuals are just are just amazing. Not sure if the Dreamcast would have been able to manage this type of uh, this type of stuff. I mean, it was a pretty powerful console, and I think the Dreamcast never really reached its true potential because it was ripped off the market, uh, the active market, uh, way too soon. As was the Xbox, because I mean, there are some gems on this original machine, on this original Microsoft machine. Uh, I played the easy mode, so I finished first, and uh, yeah, you, you, you really should see the replay here, I mean, I was amazed by the replay, I mean, this camera is just, it's just like a guy or a girl, <laughs> a cameraman, camera woman, just, you know, shooting footage from a, with a tell lens, way off, uh, shaking, you know, trying to capture all the cars and stuff, amazing, amazing. Of course, uh, what is now obvious is the repetitive uh, textures on the road and stuff, but I mean, back in the day, this was just, I mean, it still is amazing. So let's go over to London. Uh, uh, Mini Cooper is supposed to be London now. I did another type of grabbing here, so you could see some jaggies, uh, which is a shame. I'm still experimenting 
on the most optimal way to grab video here. Um, this is probably the last setting. I only captured half the frames, and uh, and I did some sort of intermediary uh, average averaging, which uh, makes the screen a bit less. Um, yeah, uh, how do you say that? Make the screen a bit fuzzy. This this way, the screen is a bit sharper, but you do see uh, jaggies, and there's a lot of horizontal movement. Um, yeah. London. I mean, everything is there. Look, the Big Ben, uh, the line, the over the bridge, the Thames. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a big part of the uh, Metropolis uh, Street Race, Project Gotham racing title genre, that they actually uh, make you raise real or seemingly real uh, cities with uh, recognizable uh, features. And the Xbox 360 is even more real. Uh, a friend of mine actually, I believe it was in Project Gotham Racing 3, he actually recognized large parts of, uh, of uh, uh, Las Vegas. But uh, of course, I'm going to be finishing here uh, in, in, a, in a bit. Will I make it to the first place? Yeah, I'm still fourth. It's uh, it's tough. I'm not sure if I will be able to make it, but perhaps I will. Of course, it is easy mode, so I might very well. I think so. I'll overtake this bastard. And I slide, and I passed. Yeah, I passed him, so I'll finish first, just in the nick of time. Uh, the purpose of this video was actually to show you how, yeah, how I beat in quick race in action. What is it in in, in uh, the, uh, the easy quick race mode? Uh, how I beat all the all the four cities that you can uh, that, that you can ride in. Arcade Tokyo. Now I've never been to Tokyo, so I, I won't be able to tell if it is anything like the real Tokyo. Uh, I've been to. Uh, New York, I've been to San Francisco and London. Um, well, San Francisco is remarkably flat in, the, in this, uh, in this uh, rendition. Uh, London, I mean, yeah, you can see some sort of Big Ben like thing in the uh, you know, House of Parliament and stuff, but you know, it's, I mean, it's, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, these over, you know, these, these, these highways that are above the other highways, that's something that is typical of London, uh, London, Tokyo. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, I'm just rambling on here. Not being as humor, humoristic as uh, Maximum RD. I mean, um, yeah, he just cracks me up. I mean, he, uh, he would have been able to make something very humoristic uh, from this. Uh, my current frog is non-existent, so you might have, some, you might, you may have, yeah, you just have to do with, uh, with his voice. My voice, my crap commentary. Of course, I always like to put AA on the car. Not that I have a drinking problem, but the way I ride, I might as well be totally drunk. Okay, there's some grabbing issues here. I think the hard drive is, uh, is, is uh, being taxed a bit too much here. Anyways, I'm second. Final lap. I will probably end up first again. I mean, it's the easy mode. It's it's very easy to be the easy mode. And look at those graphics. If you compare it to the original Metropolis Street Racer, uh, there was no environmental mapping, so you wouldn't see the uh, Hardly any environmental mapping, so you wouldn't see the, uh, the, uh, the street signs being reflected in the white uh, top of the car. Uh, you would see some sort of shine, you would see some shadow over the car, but uh, nothing like this on the Xbox. 
yeah, I, I remember being totally blown away by the sheer speed and smoothness, frame rates. I mean, also the Dreamcast is excellent Tropical Soul Racer. Something that really makes this an excellent series is this, this the, the amazing frame, frame rate. There's not a single frame drop. Excellent stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'll show you. Um, yeah, I have to make a second part because I'm like. 10 min over 10 minutes now, so let's see if YouTube swallows this, takes this. Alright, we'll see you in the next part.